Hi, this video is about multi-digit addition, both the models that students can use to do this and some strategies. Three models that uh, are common for students to use to understand multi-digit addition, counters, which we've seen before, base 10 models, and a new one, open number line. Counters, uh, if I wanted to do 26 plus 19 with counters, lay out 26 counters, lay out 19 counters, push them all together, and count them all up. Uh, nothing too surprising there. More sophisticated uh, is using base 10 models. For example, this drawing here of 26 with two sticks and six dots, and um, this drawing of 19 with one stick and nine dots. Why is this uh, help support multi-digit addition? Well, I can pretty clearly see I've got uh, I've got three tens here, and then I can see if I can take maybe, for example, take one of these dots and make another ten. Well, I got four tens and five left over, so that can be a nice way to do uh, multi-digit addition. Finally, what about an open number line? What if I wanted to do 26 plus 19 on an open number line? What I would do is um, go ahead and, and go to 26. Well, there's a, there's a bunch of ways to do this, but basically we can show jumps of 10 or 20 or whatever seems to be reasonable and helpful. So here's a jump of 26, and then I needed to go another 19, so I'd go 10 more. Okay, so now I'm at 36. If this was 26, I know I'm at 36. And then I need to go nine more, and I can think about what that would get me to. And so an open number line doesn't really have any markings on it, but we can use it to show jumps. We'll take a look at some more open number line things with the strategies that students use. And um, there's a lot of different ways to think about how to do this multi-digit addition. One way is students think about adding tens first, then adding their ones together, and then combining. So if I were thinking about 26 plus 19, the thinking would go, I'm going to add 20 plus 10 to get 30. I'm going to add 6 plus 9 to get 15. And then I'm going to add 30 and 15 to get 45. On an open number line, I'm thinking about going 20 and then going another 10. So that gets me to 30. And then I'm going to go 6 to get to 36. And then I'm going to go another 9, and maybe I need to think about that as 1, 2, 3, 4 to get to 40, and another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get to 45. Slightly different strategy is to add on 10s and then add 1s. So this, the thinking here, if I'm 20, doing 26 plus 19, I'll start at 26, and I'll add 10 more to get to 36, and then I'll go ahead and add the 9 more on the open number line. Uh, you maybe don't even need to, to show getting up to 26. You can just start at 26, add on my 10 for my 19, get up to 36, and then add 9 more. I could do 4 at a time to get to 40, and then 5 more to get to 45. Another strategy is to move some to make 10s. So here the thought process is, if I'm doing 26 plus 19, I'm going to take some of these 19 and move them over to the 26. I'll take uh, four of them, move them over there, and I'll have 30. And that leaves me with 15 more. And I can do 30 plus 15 to get up to 45 fairly easily. Thinking here, if I'm at 26 um, and I need to take four more to get myself up to... Uh, 30 and that's going to leave me with 15 left so I can go 10 more and then 5 more up to 45. Um, that's moved some to make 10s. A fourth way to think about it is to use a nice number and compensate. So here uh, instead of adding 19 maybe I'll add I'll think about adding 20. 26 plus 20 is 46. Well, that's one more than I need, so I'll just go down to 45. So the thought process here is, if I'm at 26, I can add 20 pretty easily. 10 and 10 more gets me to 46. So that's one more than I need, so let's just back down and get to 45, my answer. So uh, those are some models and strategies that students you can use and think about for multi-digit addition.